Yeah, well, finally had my first silver of the year. I've been doing a lot of relic hunting, not a lot of coin shooting. It's a Washington. Can't tell the date on it, but uh, as you can see, it's down there quite a bit. Probably about eight inches. And it was under dirt and gravel, so unfortunately, it's uh, pretty scratched up by the gravel, but we'll get it out there. Take a look. 1938. And again, it's already scratched, so I'll rub the back. Looks like S. 38S. All right. Cool. Come back with the next. Well, my dear old CTX is in the shop. Actually, it's, it's being repaired. It's on its way back from my lab, uh, but I'm borrowing Coop's AT Pro today. My first time ever using an AT Pro. We're hunting a Civil War era house, and I found several uh, shot uh, bullets and other stuff, but I've got my first ever large scent right here. Um, 1851. Holy cow. My first one. You don't find these in Missouri very often. All right, come back with the next. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, doing a little relic and coin hunting today, and uh, I think I found me a French triangle bullet for depth sake right there. Nope, it's not a French, just a regular mini. It's a dropped, smaller caliber, looks like maybe a 54 caliber three ring mini. All right, cool. Come back with the next. Okay, next find is a dropped round ball. Uh, probably 69. Cool. I'll come back with the next one. Okay, I've got another 54 caliber mini. Dropped. All right, cool. Come back with the next. Okay, next find is a uh, brass rivets or a set of brass rivets with the leather still on it. Neat, 150 year old leather. All right, come back with the next find. All right, I think I found another round ball. Yep, sure enough. Another 69 caliber round ball. All the way down there. Right under a root too. Cool. Come back with the next. Okay, another drop bullet, and this also looks to be a round ball. Sure enough, 69 caliber round ball. Cool. A lot of balls today. Come back with the next. Okay, I got a bigger bullet here. Let's see if it's a French triangle. This place has produced a couple of them. Yes, it is. All right. Clean out the mud at home to show you the triangle, but that's what that is. French triangle bullet. Cool. Awesome. Come back with the next. All right, found another round ball. Come back with the next. Okay, just found that one round ball and found another one right beside it. Alrighty, come back with the next. Okay, here's my overview of uh, the last couple hunts I've had. Um, I have did uh, a park, two parks, and an old house that was built in the 1840s. So first from the old house, I found uh, my first ever large scent, 1851. The details are good, but it's got corrosion on it, of course. Uh, this is, I've always wanted to find these. It is a Three Merry Widows 10. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Three Merry Widows was a popular uh, condom brand back in the 20s and 30s. Um, let's see, found three wheats out there. The oldest is a 1910. Three buttons, two flat buttons, and one gilded button, a shank button with the shank broken off of it. But it still had the gilt on it, which is pretty cool. Then I found, uh, let's see, a suspender clip, a bunch of shot bullets. It's really close to a... Uh, Civil War battle site, so I can't say that it directly came from the Civil War area era, but the bullets are that old, and they're definitely oxidized, right? And then uh, at one of the parks, I found a silver Washington Quarter, 1938 D. And then at the other park, I uh, found a bunch of Civil War stuff. 
Camp lead, of course. Some mystery brass objects. Not sure what they are. The back of a rivet. This is a, a double rivet with the leather still intact, which is pretty cool. Uh, shot round ball. This one didn't have the patina on it, either that or it came off. But you can see they, they kind of cast it offset, and whenever they went to cut the sprue, it didn't cut quite right. And then, uh, I'm sorry, I said shot, I meant dropped. Six 68 caliber round balls, two 54 caliber minis dropped, kind of an odd caliber to find around here, and then a French triangle. They're from France, and they have a triangle on the bottom. Kind of creative, isn't it? Okay, well, that's my latest haul. I'll get back out there hunting now that I've got my CTX back from, uh, from Mine Lab Repair. They did warranty work on it, and I got it back in less than 10 days. So I'm satisfied. Um, this coin I found with uh, my buddy Dustin's AT Pro. First time I'd ever picked up an AT Pro. Uh, in fact, all these items from the house site came with the AT Pro. All right, thank you all for watching. Let me find it.